Right, welcome to this video. Autumn is finally here and the garden is looking a little bit poorly because of course autumn time it's normal, things are dying back and nature is kind of going within itself, resting away. And this is going to be actually a video on the three plus sisters, the bed over there. Um, it was a very very interesting experiment. I actually learned by doing certain mistakes what I need to do next year in order to make it perfect. I'm going to actually talk to you about those throughout this video um, but the main reason I'm making this video is to show you the kind of amount of harvest you can expect from um, such a multi terraced system if you like you know where you have not just one crop in one place but you have many crops uh, staggered over the year and it's just a great way to get a lot of a lot from your small garden as well okay without further ado <laughs> let's go and take a look I just want to quickly show you the amount of these are the beans then you can see them here just the amount of beans they're actually all well hidden inside let me just take you over here and then just show you i mean it's autumn now so of course things are getting a bit uh wild looking and a bit like things are dying back uh, but look at all the i mean there's tons of runner beans and all those are going to go for seed saving from the garden was I got about five of these babies now I ate most of them sorry but you can imagine they were all this big they're marrows or known as um, when they're smaller they're known as zucchini or courgettes now I ate also of course a lot of I, I harvested a lot of zucchinis and courgettes so I had about six or so plants and I got a lot of these and this one here is the one it's keeping really nicely it has a lovely shape so I'm going to save seeds from that one. I'm really happy with that one. I had three of these. Hokkaido, there's two I ate already, sorry about that as well. Uh, but they were a great, a great crop as well. Tasted lovely as well. Now because I didn't have, I did a kind of a potato pumpkin experiment, um, sweet potato pumpkin if you remember. And this one here, and I think it was this one. I planted also in that bed, in the 10 meter square bed because I didn't have enough room in the other bed where I originally grew all these ones so it also grew these two as well and that was it in pumpkins and courgettes um, a lot of damage done by slugs, they ate all the flowers um, everywhere in my garden, but I still got all these uh, lovely fruits as well we have a few on the party away actually oh I got this one as well from there and it's, um, that one was also in the garden, but it's rotting away. I'm not going to save, I will save seeds from it, because it's a lovely one when you eat the young, the long, young fruits as well. But it just doesn't store as well as this fella here. Anyway, that's it. Let's go and take a look at uh, the beans upstairs and the sunflowers and so on as well. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you the different amounts of seeds I actually got. From the experiment, that's remember 10 square feet, uh, meters, sorry, 10 square meters of ground. And basically, I got the worst kind of thing I got was peas. That was roughly maybe a handful of peas, pretty much not worth uh, mentioning, but I just thought I'd mention it because, of course, uh, so you don't make the same mistakes. Having said that, the peas would have worked if I had planted them sooner. The reason they didn't give much of a crop is because they were in way too late. The reason they were in too late is, of course, because of the, the runner beans and also the sunflowers as well. I'll talk about that now in a second. Um, so, when it comes to sunflowers, I actually did quite well. If you have a look at this, this is actually um, a whole jar of sunflowers I got from that small patch. It was about... It was actually the, the 15 plants I planted later that gave uh, the best crop. The other, the first 15, if you remember, got hit by hail and I got about maybe one third of that is from that and the second lot, the other 15 that I planted later, uh, made up the bulk of it. But actually that's quite a lot of sunflowers for just 10 meters square and I should have actually planted, so I planted about 30 sunflowers, that's the kind of thing amount you would get, 30 sunflowers. But if I had planted about 60 or 70 and I could have gotten that in there and I should have gotten that in there because uh, my runner beans would have 
and no problem whatsoever to grow up as well. Um, like they didn't have enough kind of space I felt um, climbing up the sun plows as well. And again these should have been gone in a bit earlier as well and kind of been protected from the, the hail but that's hard to do. Now runner beans it's amazing the amount of the amount I got now the bag was about that full. So that's basically all the different uh, husks that I've been I've been dehusking this and this is the amount of seeds I got from just that a small amount. That is still quite a lot of seeds. I mean I'm gonna have tons of packets of seeds. This is a kind of a this is called Zurich, I believe. And I'm happy to in the future send out in the next while I'm gonna do a uh, share the seeds thing on heirloomseedsaving.com again soon and we will I will actually give away a lot of my seeds. I have loads more seeds as well elsewhere. I'm not showing you them now. But um, just just bear that in mind. This is actually still to go. I still gotta do this whole I mean this this bag is half full. I, I don't know if you can see that but there's gonna be so many seeds. So I actually ended up with um yeah I don't know I would say I can nearly fill that box with seeds by the end of it. I'd say maybe two thirds full at least. Um, and of course you can eat them. So even just that much in, the, in a meal, just a tiny amount like that in a meal, will give you all the protein you need. A wonderful ex experiment it has been and really shows, goes to show that you can actually get a lot of protein from a small area like that if you're growing the right uh, common bean variety as well. And uh, yeah, I, I could have actually, that's another thing as well I want to mention is I've also harvested, I could have had more seeds, but I harvested some of them as well in the meantime, uh, of course, beforehand, because I, d I wanted to eat some as well, and these are just the ones that are, that are left. Amazing! I'm really happy with the outcome of that. Tons! Anyway, we're going now over back to uh, the garden. We'll talk about the uh, chokcha now next. Now, as you can see, the only thing that's really left is the, the dead, where the dying back leaves of the runner beans, but also a lot of the chokcha as well. A wonderful plant this is. What a great old plant that is. I mean, I must say it again and again. It's like a weed. It grows like mad. And this is what they basically look like when they're fully grown. Um, you can actually get the seeds when they go white, but you eat them at this stage or maybe at the stage a little bit bigger. Yeah, let me just find you one now. I ate a lot of them as well, to be honest. So I left some for seed so I can share them with you uh, at another stage. These guys here, and they taste just like, just like cucumber. A wonderful taste, a little bit bitter and not as juicy. But, um, these are damn good in salad. So, if anybody wants some seeds, you're more than welcome. But look at the amount I, I could have had. And I ate a load of them as well. These are the baby ones coming now. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. Literally. Going up there. They even went up that tree. Look how high. They got all the way up there. I mean, that's, that's nearly three and a half, four meters, I'd say. Easily. Easily up there. Oh, there's still some beans left as well. I must harvest. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm now gonna mulch all this. I'm gonna wait another maybe few days, take all the white ones. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to show you, this is really cool. Let me just show you something. You're gonna enjoy this. One second. I don't have my tripod, so I'm just gonna put you between, or the camera between my old knees and I'll just show you this. This is really cool. You just peel this away, check this out. <laughs> and those are the seeds. Doesn't that look just amazing? <laughs> I don't know, I just love the shape of it. It just looks um, tropical somehow, I don't know. And that's in the seeds. The one didn't, it's not quite ripe. Um, but once the whole plant, once this whole good thing goes uh, white, they're ready to take. And again, if anybody wants the seeds, uh, I will be sharing them on heirloomseedsaving.com. So that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I kind of think I'm going to give it another try. More sunflowers next time. Everything a bit earlier. And I think the crop will, the crops are, were fantastic, I must say. But it's going to be even better. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I shall see you in the next video.